Hello, Internet. I'm gay. I mean Finn. And welcome back to the game. My voice is not amazing because I had dental surgery and my throat and stuff is healing. So if I sound like dog ass, I'm sorry. Welcome back to the game, the show where I talk about gay stuff. This will be episode three of gay stuff. I got the gay stick right here. You're now diagnosed with queer. Sorry if you weren't before. You officially have it. So, oh God. Today, the last episode was the negative aspects of pride. And today, we're talking about the good shit. Talking about the positivity. Um, so, let's just get into that, shall we? Get into some of this good stuff. Gay people. So, some of the good stuff about Pride. Let's, let's start with the obvious. It is bringing attention to a group of people that is put down a lot, uh, which is always good. It's, a, it's an inclusivity thing. Pride Month and Pride as a whole is sort of... It's treated better each and every, every single year. Um, and the people that it reaches out to help is uh, more and more each year. So, so back when Pride first started, there were certain groups of people that weren't included in it. And uh, as far as I could tell, it's not... It wasn't a thing of those people being excluded because fuck them. It was more of a thing of that group of people not being well known. Um, such as uh, asexuals have not been included in media and stuff and they haven't been included in Pride until fairly recently. It wasn't like last year or anything, but it, it took them a bit. Not because they weren't accepted by uh, the queer community, but, well, at certain points they weren't, but it's a thing of them, that group of people growing, uh, alongside those people who feel that way and are that way, letting it be known vocally, uh, which has led to more groups of people being included, which is always a good thing. Pride has always had a bit of a mixed history because it will include things and not include others and very recently I feel proud to say that I'm a part of that group because of how inclusive it has become it very 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 rarely will you find like a pride thing that is against a group of people for anything like that um, a majority of Pride campaigns and whatnot are going to be open and honest and be like, hey, we like everybody of every race, every gender, every, like, identity of every uh, sexuality, lack thereof, anything between. Uh, they tend to be very inclusive that way, which is very nice and very helpful to everybody because you want to be a part of a community that accepts you, not one that kind of like slips you off to the side so having a community like that that will accept just about anybody is very cool it's very nice um, I feel like especially in a modern world it's very hard to find communities that accept everybody um, because so many people have so many ideas and so many people have so many thoughts behind, like, groups of people or types of people, and it just doesn't... A lot of times it's an issue because prejudices and, and past experiences and growing up in areas and whatever, there's, like, a million things that can make it harder for you to... There's a million things that can make you not like a person, and none of those things should be based off of how they look or how they were brought up. It should be based on who they are. The fact that this person is a gay black man or this is a straight white woman or that is a non-binary 
fucking Mexican person, right? It's like none of that shit should matter in how you view a person. But in this world, it's treated like it does matter, which is fucking really sucky. And luckily, we are building communities where that is not Luckily, we are building communities where that's less and less of a problem. And hopefully it can get to a point where it's not a problem at all. I think in a perfect world, those, those descriptors are not important to anyone except for the individual. And I feel like it's super important to show those groups of people a level of respect and a level of care because of how little they've been shown it in the past. And sure, there's bad things about pride, but I think overall it does more good for those individuals. Maybe not for the whole groups, but for those individuals I think it's incredibly helpful. I've never been able to go to like an event or, or anything for Pride, but I have had friends go do that sort of thing and come back and have nothing but positivity to say about it. And I love that. Um, I'll stop rambling about the community thing and get on to the next point. Pride, it has this aura to it. I'm sorry that I keep taking breaks to cough and all that. I can't breathe. It has like a like an aura to it. And it feels kind of special. It it's very reminiscent of like it's very reminiscent of being in like high school and having to fight for like a club or for a after school activity. But instead of being something that is like that, it is much bigger. It's not your theater class, it's not your band. It it's it's millions of people. And That aura is so special, so, it's so incredibly original, there, there's nothing that quite feels like it. I, if there is, you guys can correct me, but I feel like there's nothing quite like the ability to fight for equality in anything. I I'm a firm believer that the only the only thing that matters for inclusivity is being human. And that that special feeling of pride is that It kind of doesn't matter if you are queer. Like, you don't have to be gay to celebrate pride. You don't have to be trans, you don't have to be gay, you don't have to be a lesbian. You just have to be a human. And you don't even necessarily need to celebrate pride to be a part of it. There's plenty of people who are a part of pride and in reality it's just them expressing that they care it's just them saying something as simple as I care or something as simple as I agree with this or there's people on like Twitter or whatever who they won't express any sort of queer identity whatsoever but they see something that is homophobic or transphobic or whatever, anything like that, and they shoot it down 
not because it harms them, but because it harms other people and they don't like it. And that is beautiful. That's beautiful. Pride. Pride does this thing where it empowers people. Sometimes for bad. It's not not everybody's perfect. There there's gonna be some sour apples in the in there. So I, I can admit that sometimes the people empowered by pride aren't good people. But most of the people who it empowers need it. Most of the people it empowers are affected very heavily by it. I for one feel so much safer in who I am after after going through my first like pride month openly being gay so many friends not family but so many people caring simply because I am me simply because I'm who I am and that, that means a lot. There's going to be people who it doesn't affect at all. And that's fine. There's going to be queer people who it doesn't affect at all. And that's okay. There's going to be queer people who don't like it. And I, I don't necessarily love Pride Month. But there's also going to be queer people who... It changes how they experience life. It changes how they experience friendship, how they experience family, how they experience relationships. There's going to be some people whose, like, life or death scenario is decided by Pride Month. And that's terrifying. But it's also... so human. Because I feel like a lot of stuff can be pointed at and go, Th this social thing decides everything. And there's going to be people who are like, oh, well, doesn't matter this, doesn't matter that, but it does. And if you're not affected by it, that's fine. But the millions of people that are deserve the ability to have it. And as a queer person myself, I don't necessarily... Like, I appreciate it and having the nice words thrown at me is nice but overall I'm not a huge fan like overall I'm not a huge fan of it um because there's just so much bigotry behind it and it leads to so many arguments and stuff and outside of just hearing somebody go, you're valid, outside of that, it doesn't affect me too much. But the people who it can affect and who it does affect deserve the ability to feel it, to have it happen to them, to, to have that positivity thrown their way. And I... I feel like there's like a gap because there's a lot of people who are allied with Pride and with Pride Month but aren't actually allied with queer people and it's weird and you can usually tell pretty easily and I feel like it's hard for a lot of gay people, a lot. It's hard to, it's hard to have a month set to be happy and be proud of who you are because then the rest of the year, you're kind, you kind of feel this idea of, well, I can't talk about it. June's over, I can't talk about being gay. June's over, I can't talk about being trans. June's over, I can't talk about the fact that I'm an asexual. June's over, I, I, I can't, 
let people know. I can't make Twitter posts about it. I can't talk to my family. I can't tell my friends. June's over. I'm done. But... But even with that, I feel like June and Pride Month is an amazing opportunity for queer people because you get that opportunity you can you get this opportunity where you can talk to others about it you get this opportunity to conversate with allies with other queer people you get to talk with people who feel the same way that you do if you feel like you're the only person in the world who feels the way you do sure maybe you are but there's people super similar out there, and you can find them. They're, they're down the road, they're at your school, they're at your job, they're on your computer, they're on your phone, they're everywhere. You just have to make the effort to find them. And I know that can be a lot. It sure fucking can. I live in the South. Like... 99% of the people down here genuinely aren't cool with gay people. And I'm not trying to say all Southern people suck, because they don't. There's some lovely people. But it's very difficult, especially here. There's, there's nobody. It's like, my best friend, gay. Gay as shit. Gay as AIDS. I don't have any other gay friends in person. Like, every other person I know in person straight. And most of them white. Most of them straight, cis, and white. But, like, God, my throat. But they, they are out there. You can find them. You can conversate in meeting those people, even if anonymously and you don't want them to see your face or know your name. It's incredibly helpful and impactful, both for them and for you, so try to reach out if you have an Instagram. Try to find other gay people on there. Try to find other trans people. Find, them. find other asexual people, aromantic people. Find motherfuckers to talk to. And even if you don't need it, they might. Or if they don't need it, you might. Whatever. Just try to reach out. Try to help, you. Try to help your fellow queers. Because you never know who needs it. You never know who's going to need that turn, that turnaround, because you simply saying you're valid could be the reason that person lives. And that's so incredibly impactful. So reach out, talk to people. And I, I know I didn't talk about every reason that Pride Month is a good thing. I didn't talk about all of it, but... You guys can go in the comments and talk to me, talk to each other, just talk about why it's a good thing. Talk about your opinions on it, if you like it, if you dislike it, talk about what it's done for you, what it's done for your family, just let us know. So, take care everybody. I love you guys.